Well, thank you very much. Uh, first, a general point, then a more specific one. Sweden is a pretty strange country. We're the country with the biggest amount of forest in Europe, I think. Uh, but that hasn't always been the case. 150 years ago, we were deforested. But then we introduced forest policy, and now we have the forests back. We are a little bit sensitive when uh, friends and colleagues from other parts of Europe that maybe took down their forests a thousand years ago and still haven't really figured out how to get them back, try to define and tell how to use the forest. I think we have to have that in mind. Two concrete examples that connect to this. First of all, how should we use forests? How should we use wood? Do we think that a planned economy with politicians deciding how to use the raw material is the best way forward? Or do we think that the forest owners are the ones that should decide how to use the forest? Secondly, sustainability criteria is crucial. But we have to remember, and we will have to do that when we do the Renewable Energy Directive later on, that we don't have a sustainability criteria for oil, gas, fossil fuels. And the more we love renewable energy, forest-based energy, the tougher we make those criteria, the less competitive they will be vis-à-vis -vis fossil fuels. The tougher it will be to substitute the really bad climate option of fossil fuels with renewable ones if we make sustainability criteria that are so tough that they really can't compete. As I said, Sweden is pretty strange in many ways. One of the things is that we have a lot of renewable energy. 2013, we reached 52.1% of our energy from, from renewable sources. That's the highest in Europe. The second place, I think, is Latvia with 37.1%. But we're not really happy. We'd like to go further. We'd like to have even more. So we reduced tax massively on renewable energy. But lately, we had to increase the tra taxes on renewable energy dramatically because the Commission has said that it's state aid to reduce taxes on renewable energy. It's very hard to explain that to the general public. I went to the, to, the, this, to the Commission's webpage and checked state aid, and there it says you can legitimately use state aid to support the fight for climate change, but still, the people see their energy bills, the people that chose to use renewable energy, their energy bills go up because the EU decided that we need to tax renewable energy higher. I'd like to hear the Commission explain that. If we're going to be able to go beyond 52%, and we aim at 100%, we need to be able to use all the options available. And the EU Commission can't be an obstacle on our road to a renewable energy society. Thanks. Thank you, Mr. Balzo.